Public Library. Today we'll be doing a flower frame craft that we can use from household items. If you haven't signed up for the summer reading program today, go ahead and go to longbeach.beanstack.org to sign up. And if you already signed up, don't forget to use the activity code GARDEN in the activity tab on Beanstack. So let's get ready to do the craft. I'll be showing you two ways in how to make a flower frame. So these are two of the frames that we'll be making. I'm going to show you this one first and I'll be showing you this one second. So let's put this one away and start on our frame. I'll be showing you the supplies that you'll need to make this. We're going to put this away and we're going to start with the supplies. So you'll need a cereal box. You're going to cut it up and we're going to use the back part. You're going to need a piece of paper saran wrap, a pen, tape, and scissors. So once you have all of those supplies, you can go ahead and make your frame. I also have glitter, markers, paint, and crayons as examples of what you can use or whatever you have at your house you can use to decorate your frame. So now I'll be showing you how to make the frame. We're going to use our cereal box that we just cut up. And we're going to cut the edges to make a nice frame. And then we're going to get our piece of paper. So with our piece of paper, we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to use this as um, to help us trace to make our frame. So I already cut the edges and it's going to look like this. And I already um, have my outline but I'll show you how I did that. So I took the, the paper that I folded in half and I put it on top of the cereal box. And then you take your pen or your marker, whatever you want to use, and you're going to trace along the piece of paper. And you'll get this. It's really neat. Now, for this part, for the cutting part, you might need your parent um, because you're going to have to use scissors. I'm not sure if kitty scissors might um, be able to do it. So if you can get somebody to help you cut out the outline, you'll be getting this. I already put the saran wrap on top of it um, to show you what it already looks like. So when you cut out the saran wrap, you're going to tape it along to secure it. And then you have your, you start off with that. And then you're going to find flowers. So I used my sister's bouquet of flowers that she had um, to kind of recycle it. So you're going to take your flowers and you're going to cut it to however height that you want it to be. And I'm just going to show you how I did this. So you're going to make sure you use the colored side to put the first um, side of the saran wrap on. And you're going to put the flower on the back. And then you get some tape and you secure it in the back. Oops, it doesn't look really secure, but that's pretty secure for now. Um, that's how you're going to do that. And then now you're going to get another piece of saran wrap and you're going to put it over the flowers and then you're going to secure it. And that is how you get this frame. It's really neat. You can also decorate it if you want. You have the option of doing that. Um, I just use markers, but you can use glitter, paint, markers, anything that you have in your house to make that frame your own. Okay, so let's get started on the next frame. So for this frame, I'm going to show you what supplies you need to make this really cute frame. It's a little bit different from the first frame. Um, and it's and I feel like you can probably have some of these supplies at home. So what I use is I use some popsicle sticks. You can use used popsicle sticks or you can use um, purchase popsicle sticks from the store. And you're going to glue the sticks together with glue and you're going to put them together and you're going to let it dry. So you're going to need four of these, four. And then you're going to glue them all together like this and you're going to make 
square. So what I used for the, the flowers to stick, I used contact paper. And contact papers, I guess you can kind of think of it as like really big tape. Soft on one side, sticky on the other. And the cool thing is you can, if you mess up, you can kind of pull it off and you can adjust things kind of. Um, if you don't have contact paper, you can try using saran wrap and that'll be a cool experiment. Okay, so what I did is on the back, I put contact paper. I cut it to the shape that where I can fit it in the back and I'm showing it in the front. And, um, and I got some flowers and I cut the stems. I don't know if you can see it, but I cut the stems and I just put the flower heads on top of the contact paper. And, and that was it. You can decorate the popsicle sticks if you like. Um, and I used yarn. And that's it. That's all. And it was super easy, fun, and hope you guys get to do this at home. I can't wait to see your results. If you're interested in wanting to learn about the different flowers that we have here um, around you, we have a great book called Wildflowers. And it tells you about different flowers that you might see if you're out on a walk. And we also have regular books that have great stories about flowers and what they do um, and how they help our earth grow. So that's it. Thank you for um, listening.